Your entire party has spent the last year telling us this is the most important thing that has ever happened. We now have evidence that the charges you are making against Trump apply to your own party and your own candidate, my and you're ignoring it, are about and you're throwing February, this fit on my May set telling me, oh, it's not a big deal. February, Why do you want to talk about May the tax bill? and July, obstruction of justice three times, violation of section You're not even, in, you know what? I, I honestly, it's hard for me to believe, given everything you've said in the last year that you're putting on this performance now. Why don't you just say, look, what Hillary did, her campaign paying for intelligence from the Russians. That was bad, but she's not president. Let's move on. You won't even say that. I don't know what Hillary did, except she Actually, did we do know. Research. We do. What do you mean we don't know? We know exactly what she did. They admitted it this week. The they DNC, admitted that they paid for opposition research. Every campaign they came, well, of course they pays all do. for opposition that research. That comes from the Every, Russians? Uh, Every, this dossier came from the no, Russians. No, this dossier came from a research firm and a British individual. Really? And who and is the British individual? Do you know? I believe his name is Mr. Steele. Yeah. And why was he hired? Because he was the head of the Russia desk at MI6. He was he a was Russian many, expert. Many and the information things. was about Trump's ties to Russia. They got this information from the Russians, and they paid, in effect, Russian sources they for it. They paid a man to pre prepare a memo. Wait, does it bother you? Does that bother you at all? Not particularly. Does it, it no bother effect. you? Has the Podesta group ever lobbied you for anything? I believe they have. I believe they've also. Uh, I believe you're also a friend of Tony. I'm not a friend well. of him, and he's never lobbied me. I'm not a sitting. Well, you're, of you're not a member you of Congress, are. yes. And I'm not he, a friend of Tony Podesta's. Why don't you do want to talk about impeaching a president? And your answer is, hey, there's this lobbyist in because town. Because the any predicate good? for this impeachment is exactly no, the, the same for the, behavior. You haven't that read you're my using. My yes, articles I have. of impeachment are only a page and a half, and you haven't bothered to read them. Actually, I have read them. Then you know. And I think they're even more factious now than I did before. Now that I know that there's no principle that undergirds them, that you're willing to what excuse anything the Democrats do. justice is a crime. Yeah. It is right. a felony We're punishable done. by 20 years, up to 20 come, years. Come back when you got a tax bill and you want to chat about it. The tax bill's been released and yeah. you can't defend it. Yeah, right. So this is absolutely wild. And when you watch this, when you watch how deftly Tucker handles uh, the, you know, the, the swampy congressman that he's brought in there uh, to basically defend Russiagate and defend everything that the left and the Democrats and the Clinton administration did in order to smear Donald Trump. You realize why the powers that be had to get Tucker out of there. He was just too good at exposing the corruption that happened. And what he also got this guy to admit to is the fact that he does not particularly care that the Russiagate scandal was completely false. He doesn't particularly care um, that the Clinton campaign basically uh, paid for information from Russia that was completely false so that they can launder it to their friends in the mainstream media so that they can create a narrative that was not true at all. And I remember the left and Democrats talked about the Russia ties for years. It was Russia, Russia, Russia. And now that we know that it was all completely false, it was all completely phony, then now... Now these people um, never say anything and they just move on. These people are scumbags.